Hello everyone and welcome to Adventure Studios. In this video, let me show you the steps that we are going to follow. So I have two corrections to make. We'll add new components called So for these two components, we are going to use forms and we are going to capture information using these components. Of course, we'll have to add some navigation so that we can access these components and update the service configuration service so that we can make use of the forms that we created. And we'll have to also update the JSON database. So when you are developing, it becomes easy to use tools like JSON server. So currently, I'm using this JSON server and it is actually giving me what we need in fact with the api available you can even save information so it is good for our development purpose so let's start so the first correction that i would like to make is that i noticed that we're not able to see the icon the social media icons let's go there icon. social So here I'm calling the ID for why the ID is fine. So let's look at this. Yes, we have the icons. Next thing I noticed, so let's go for the next thing I noticed was we'll go to service. In service, we have a config item. Now in the config item, every block has ID but we do not have ID here in the feedback added here save this now I'll go to config service because we have a variable though we are not using this still it will say that I could not find ID so oops. Let's save this. So we are good with this. So this is done. The correction part is done. We don't want to add anything. Okay. So now the logic is that we would add a subscription form. Let me explain. So what would happen is if I click subscribe here. It should show a pop up window for the user to be able to submit the email address. So let's start with it. Similarly, we'll have a contact us button, uh, the link here, and the contact us would show up here as a floating form. So, how to implement that? So, in order to implement that, let's first add two companies. So, ng generate component. I want it to generate under component. Contact us. Okay, so we got a component contact us. Similarly, let's get the subscribe. Okay, so I'm going to demonstrate implementation of subscribe. You are free to start experimenting and implement contact us. Okay, let's do it. So, in the subscribe, we got CSS, which is blank, we have HTML. Okay, let's add an HTML that will complete our HTML part of the component and it's pretty much a small floating mod box and it shows just one single field. Okay, 
So let me just copy that from the code given here. Okay, so let me just write it. Okay, so I have pasted it here and now I will just explain. So I've taken component directly out of the template that we already have. Create container and then whether I get a set to form panel with panel body. And this is the function that we are going to call to cancel the model. And similarly, we have a form group. So there are two ways to implement a form in Angular. The first one is a simple form, another one is reactive forms we are going to use reactive forms uh, go ahead close the documentation you'll find more about it and these both are pretty much good options but reactive forms give you much more control over how the forms would show up and what all validation we can apply so that's what we're going to do here and here this is the form which has a form group that's the class we got one simple input with the name called email and same is the name we have kept for the form control name so in our took file we are going to address this field with this name email okay All right so we update the css too Okay, so I've copied some basic CSS. If you want to explore more, you can do it. Be free to modify the way you want it. Uh, the important thing to note here is that I am attaching this component to the host. So this is how we are going to do it. The position is fixed and from right and bottom now the two pieces. That's what we are going to do. This simple container with left and right margin just simple setting background will to be the same the panel and here comes the form group and form control so margin bottom contain post are related these are pretty much self explanatory you may want to explore and implement it in a different way you free to do it the only thing that you want to remember here is that to ensure that position is correct so now we have this component position at some place but how would we how would it show up we need a router outlet so let's do that okay so i've closed it as of now and we are going to go to the component tab and do the necessary imports Okay, let's start with the components that we need. Uh, the imports that we require. So for form, let's import control. Then we need a form group. We need, of course, we can tell you and validators. Validators are available for various situations where we are going to validate if, if it is a valid email address or not. And these all are available from. So we have imported what we have not yet used. Now let's import list it down in the import arrow. 
again to comments module comments now. now what else we need we need a router why do we need a router we need router to be able to route it to the correct destination that is our router outlet let me go to router some people call it router so people call it router so feel free to use whatever you want and as of now i'm not importing any configuration service but we'll do that ultimately so this is going to be our selector name and now let's go and create the prescribed form and enable its functionality so from the html i'm going to copy the name this is the name of the form let's declare it prescribed form equal to new form group okay so if you see there are multiple ways to create same uh, i mean create multiple constructions for form group so we'll use simple one here what do we need we need name new which is again a new form control and let's call the validators Null validator should not be null. Then status dot new. So I want it to be validated properly to have correct type of email address added. Okay, now let's do next we'll constructor so that we can initiate private instance. Of router router of type root okay so the root is also available now how are we using this remember we have we saw that function cancel so let's run the function Simple set of router and So I'm defining the destination where it should be headed to. So we'll go to outlet. So remember we had a different outlet available in app component module, not the module, app component, the base app component. Now what happens is everything that you select as a component starts showing up there at one place. But what if, if you want to have more than one? And what's the purpose? Purpose is I say I want to show multiple components at once, not just one at a time. So what we can do is we can define the names of those outlets. So for us, I'm going to name that outlet that shows the pop-up. Let's call it pop-up. And when we cancel, it will redirect it to null. Otherwise, here we will specify the component name. So, subscribe component name when we are going to call. So, the syntax is pretty much the same. So, we'll use this. I'll show you how. And now, let's call the subscribe function. So, here in HTML, we have the subscribe problem. Now, we have ng summit. So, this is the event that would happen once you submit the button. Once you submit, it should call the subscribe function. So let's define the subscribe function here. So 
horses crave what they need. And one goes to the neck. Here. All tied. Just trim. Goes to. This side one, so back to you. So value contains everything. Dot E. So this is what we need. And remember, at times you have to specify a special syntax because when this form is initialized, this value must be blank. So in that case, you can simply specify two question marks followed by black so in case either it is this value or it could be black so we will not get any kind of error let's go to control first log console so console dot log the email so let's log the email all right and say and let's do one more thing let's set time out so what would happen is that form will that particular uh, subscribe small little model window would automatically time out and hide so set time out This is one to do. I actually want to call the value function. Okay, so I'll specify doctor and I want this to happen. Let's say. 1000 milliseconds. Okay. okay. So now our component is ready. We have the CSS, we got the HTML, we have new errors, and we have even set up the script. Okay, let's look at it once again. Yes, we do not have it there. So we have a simple template wherein we have a small little banner with a body, a button that can be clicked and so in the code that I used it shows final close so instead of final close let's call the the default uh, icon type that we have that is from SE far so far font font awesome let's do it so Let's see if this works for us. Now I let's go to the navigation <coughs> to be able to click. Okay, so in the navigation component, we go to the HTML font and here we are going to add the link. Two copies. One, two. So here now the router link that we are using. How to define when we are redirecting not to a separate page or a component, but rather within that component to a small section area. So here, what we will use is like. This. So router link where it comes in the square package followed by the same syntax that we followed if you remember that correctly. So square package and then we have curly braces. So 
specify the outlet and now let's name the outlet pop up and up next to subscribe okay pop it up here Line. and now I'll replace subscribe with contact us so this is done so we'll be able to see contact All right, so we're good. Uh, let's see if it is showing up. Yes, it does show up. But if I click subscribe, let's see what would happen. If you notice in the status bar, we have uh, here, just notice here, okay? It shows local host 4200 home. From within home, we are being allowed to access contact us. So if I click here, oh, nothing has happened. The reason is we have everything, but we have not yet defined the outlet with the name called pop up. So, back to our course, so we go to so, okay, add component so DS, no, not the DS, we need DS table. So, here in the HTML. If you see, we got a router outlet here, and we want that router outlet to show up above the footer. So let's add the router outlet. Okay, and let's add the name property. Call it. Okay, so we defined our outlet as well. So now, if I back to the side do you think it would work no it would still will not work because this works on host so we have a link available link can be created but it is actually not floating because we have not included any destination as yet okay so multiple layers nav only shows it visually so if you have a visual uh, link this is where it should show up okay we will set one but in order for it to be actually visible we need the outlet and in order to do that routing part from visual link to the outlet we will go to the routes so here we have the routes okay so let's add so how do we add this? It should not be the last component. Okay. This should always be the last one. So let's add a focus. So I'll copy and let's call it contact first. Component and let's call it subscribe. Subscribe component. And similarly, let's update this. Let's do subscribe. And the path. So, this important part. How would you specify the path? So, the path here will not be anything. The path in itself is the name of the component. So, in this case, it will be. Contactors will be subscribe. Contactors and subscribe, and additionally, we want outlet. The outlet should be Uh, 
Okay. So for contact us and subscribe, this will be the outlet. Now let's go and verify. Okay. When I'm clicking contact us, it's going to subscribe. Okay, you can go out the button. But Let's fix it. So I'm calling contactors, contactors, subscribe, subscribe. Contactors, component, yes, this This looks okay. Going back to the component, this looks okay. The next, just go to navigation. So if I go to navigation, component to this email. So first one is oh let's change it to contact. Here we have subscribe. Okay. Now this should work clearly. So if I go and click subscribe, this is a small little window that I get with the input. Now let's see it out. Can you address the email? Activate Gmail account and click on subscribe. Okay, now it should be visible in console. Yes, email on the right gmail.com. So, this is actually what I did, and now. What we'll do is we'll save this to a list in our system, in our JSON. So let's go to the JSON file. So let me show you how to open file. Open file. The database file. DBJSON.com. So I have this db.json, you can live with .json alone, but db.json is a little bit more advanced and looks clear. It do not actually require double quotes everywhere, which is a mandatory requirement in a normal JSON file. So now, what do we have here? Like we made a correction to our item ID, config item. So I've already made changes to the feedback. I've added the ID to feedback already. Okay. Now, apart from what we already have for configuration, so if you see, we have the configuration. After that configuration, I've added comma and created a new section. Now, this new sub JSON, this new JSON file. It's for subscriber block. Okay, we called it subscriber block, but it's pretty much simple. It's uh, two uh, field uh, database entry record with first as the ID, the second one being the email, the actual email server. What we'll do is we'll send a post request using the server API from that form. So when you submit the subscribe button, it will send a request and we should be able to see the email that we added to this list. So how to do that? For doing this, we will locate our service. So let's do this. Okay, so let's go to our services. In services, we got the service component.ts no oh not in the component we want to go to the service so here is the service and this is our configuration service so instead of adding a separate service let's do it from here only so last time we created a url directly to that configuration json file so now let's create one more 
to let's call it API for describe. So what was the name? The name is subscribers block. So our API will be called on this URL and it will directly be submitted. So let's add a function called post or maybe save subscribers. We'll take the email of time. String and input. Okay, and it is going to be observable of time okay. And now let's find the body. So return. Return this dot HTTP dot post. So we're calling the HTTP survey to post. What do we want to post? Uh, let's define what it is. So I'm using that tick for this template. And the true template, where is the dollar sign? Okay, where is it? Dollar. API, not API, what was the name? API subscribe. So, this is the URL. And what I need to post? There should be curly code. I'm going to pause the help. Okay, and after this, let's find and then for the find, we will add a tag and in the tag, we want post. So dot log see if it is actually working. This is post the dollar. So when we call this, it will send this post variable. Okay. So this post variable will be captured here. So let's specify catch error. This dot hello and subscriber. Okay, so instead, it's the other one we need. It's not curly braces. Okay, and done. Now, if you see the message here, it it 
underlying tab so that means it does not understand what they say same time also label is also underlined and is also underlined so we do not have any so this simply means that we do not know what the tab does not know what these are so observable filter so we need to include a few more things so we got that table we can have this back down we got that property title then observable or editor so now let's import catch error from rxjs slash operators include everything that we need now it still has the error so the error that we which lacks the written by animation okay. we have not specified the code for I mean, semicolon no not semicolon colon so save this so we're good we have a function now let's call this function from within the constraint so we'll go back to our subscribe component and import the service here Import wait the way from config service and for the service we need to reject the service. So just have to export config service of i config service equal to inject and what do we want to inject just the config service so this is, so this is small c and this capital c so this is the configuration of this object we are creating and inserting the same so we'll use this variable name in word component now. So we already have a subscribe function now. Within that subscribe function, we want to do something. So when someone clicks subscribe, uh, it should capture the email value, log it to console. At the same time, what do we need is this dot config service dot let's call the function save subscribe and pass the variable called email and then subscribe subscribe now this subscribe is the we are subscribing it to the observable because this function type is observable whenever there is a change it will return some changes and we'll capture it under our subscribe so Subscribe to the changes here. Uh, what do we need? We want the response. Response. So it has the variable. Uh, Control dot log. No response. We want to see what is the response and let's log that response. Simple. Okay, come here with the semicolon. Timeout is still there. So if we end to anyway, we do timeout after this is time. So no errors here. Let's save this. So now ideally what would happen? We have completed the application. We'll click on subscribe, we'll enter the email address, submit, it will do two things. 
will log the console, log the email ID that you submitted to the console. Then call this function, and this function will save that email ID to our database, which will verify. And after which, after some time, it will close all by its own. Okay, we are here. Let's click on close client. Let's add an email address. JKG at gmail.com and subscribe. Okay, let's go to our database file. So, where it is. it directly in the browser then you tap <coughs> local host so we got configuration dot subscriber log in subscriber log we have just one item Going back to our website, let's see. So we have so this email ID is logged here, but somehow it's not submitted to the database. So the database shows just one address, which is because they're already okay. So we have a model. Console, we do not have error. So let's troubleshoot. We have a configuration service, so we do not have any error. We need something, email address, and then we call the subscribe function. This will subscribe from the family. Console.log, so this is happening. Let's do the time to come. From the component component and console dot talk the response. From the response. And we're calling this dot config service dot save subscriber and email. So now we just look at the function. We have local host. From the component, this is an object object, and from the object, obviously that's an object, that's why it's not showing. But if it's there, it is this one. So let's see that this goes 100%. Oh, yes, we got okay. This time the ID is generated automatically, but we do have the feedback, and it shows E and F.
So soon as we see the reason for can you we can do this. Okay. Here we have another email at gmail.com. Okay. We got another email at gmail.com back here. Let's try. Okay. Test. And I'm going to test. So, you see, not flying me to summit. Like, it's getting clicked. But it is. Let's see. Do you think anything to console? No, it is not in console. But validator is definitely working. If I'll give a space, then at the rate kk.com. Do you think it will work? No, it's still not working. But at the moment, it's a valid email address. It works for us. So, this is all for today's video. I hope you like this. Contact us is not yet implemented, but I suggest that you go ahead and try and implement something. You can keep one name, I mean, first name, last name email address and probably some smart little message for this particular area and let your uh, users submit a form. I hope this small little exercise that we are trying with the sample is going to help someone and I will prepare one more video explaining things about the angler altogether. There are so many questions that were asked in the chat window I mean in the comment section you can ask me those things and I would like to create a presentation to explain all of this we just to give an answer to one of the specific queries that I received it was like why there is no module available in the in this particular website that we're creating so to answer this there are two ways to create angular modules sorry the angular application one is you use the map modular approach so there will be a root module and all the components all the services related to that module will be packed together at one place that's how we were doing it traditionally so what's the benefit benefit is that it remains as one single package so next time you want to import this particular small little module in some let's say a bigger website you can easily do that the another approach that started with I think the version 14 or something. Okay, if I remember that correctly. So, with that version, there was a new option to create standalone components. That means these components do not require to be bundled as modules. So, within that standalone component, you can include all other components, all other services, and Instead of a single, instead of our module file, this app component acts as the main piece of uh, aggregation. You have the same roots here and the component resides here in case you want to configure something. You can read more about the same on angular.dev. I'm going to post whatever changes we made to the repository okay and bye for now and see you next time happy learning happy coding wish you all the best and be free to share the code that you have created for contact us for we'll be happy to look at it and acknowledge your achievements thank you so much and see you next time